company, uh, after example, yeah, landed like honestly October, November of 2023. What they effectively, you know, sort of showed was that on the asteroid, you have effectively like the building blocks of, you know, life. And this is my favorite, you know, term in the world, build more data for the panspermia um, hypothesis. The early building blocks of life are plentiful uh, in the universe. And a part of how um, they get distributed is through um, you know, basically collisions that end up, you know, you have like, you know, some early protoplanet, it collides with some other big planet, and then there's crazy asteroids that get sent out at high speed, but those asteroids have a little bit of like sugars and ribose, et cetera, and that's what actually like basically like incepts life on a future uh, basically planet. If you look at the average length of a genome on Earth over various periods of time, right, if we look at like old fossils, et cetera, the most complex genome basically has a perfect linear relationship between basically the age of Earth and the you know, sort of genomic length. Oh. The thing, though, is if you were to extrapolate that line downwards, if you go to when the start of Earth is, it was already at a relatively complex genome. Like if you look at like the length of a human genome, the length of bacteria, length of virus, et cetera, it would predict that Earth has not been around long enough to have the level of complexity of genomes that we have given this linear relationship. And so it strongly supports the idea that like the reason we have life on earth is actually like there was some earlier solar system, planet, et cetera, that did the early building blocks and then, and then kicked us off because like it yeah. collided with something, some asteroid yeah. then went and landed on earth and the building blocks sort of started us, you yeah. know, a little further in that like, you know, trajectory uh, of life. If you look at sort of the like Fermi's, you know, sort of paradox, yeah. what this implies is that highly likely the great filter is actually basically behind behind humanity in that like given that this likely suggests that there is you know sort of the building blocks of life all over earth but that we do not yet see signals it means that there is probably some filter that makes it difficult to go from like early building blocks to intelligence more so than you know basically like intelligence being risky uh, for you know being able to like spread out into the stars 